how is everyone doing? My goodness, it's been weeks, almost months since the last time I made one of these vid um, double vlogs. So let's 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 go back and go over what has been going down. So first things first, I traded my cyclocross bike for a fixie. Uh, unfortunately, the fixie felt a little bit too big for me, so I ended up selling that bike and got another fixie that was more my size. Uh, I wish it was the same color, however, at the time, they didn't have the same one in my size. So I went with a whole different approach, was, uh, which was a silver black label uh, by state bicycle frame. Uh, awesome bike. I'm running a 4815, which is probably the standard now. In my opinion, a lot, I ask a lot of people um, who ride fixies and they usually go with the 4815. Um, so that was that. And I love that bike. I, I'm riding it a little bit more and more every week. Um, it's just an awesome bike to, to ride. And I'm, every time you see me looking that way, it's because I'm looking at it. Second thing that has happened, one of my zip wheels at the time, I think it was like, it has to be at least about a month ago now. Uh, I was riding my zip, my zips on my Venge, and I was about to do a, a sprint with one of my uh, great friends. And right when we were about to rev it up, I heard a loud ping. As soon as that happened, I knew something happened to the spokes. I knew either uh, I popped the spoke or something. Come to find out, when I pulled over, part of the hub, part of the hub was missing. It broke off somehow, thus creating that loud ping sound. And that was that. Luckily, the guys at Bicycle Heaven, uh, a local bike shop here in San Antonio, they helped me out with it. Um, they sent it to Zip. Zip decided to to uh, replace a whole wheel, so that was great. I get a new hub. I also got a new uh, wheel and uh, spokes and everything. And since then, excuse me, since then the wheel has worked out flawlessly. I love it. I ride them now every time I ride. So that was that. Now this past week, I. Uh, <laughs> I had spring break, um, did a lot of riding. Uh, I got over 310 miles for the week, which is freaking awesome. I haven't done that ever. The most I've done was like 299, and that was last year. Um, so this year, I was able to crack that and beat that by at least 12 miles, which is awesome. However, <laughs> It came with a price. On Monday of the, uh, well, the first spring break, I had a, a, a fall. I wouldn't say a crash, it was more of a fall. We were going down um, this, uh, these, these trails, and there was some water on the, on a, uh, I guess, on the floor. We passed by it in the morning, not a problem. We were all fine, it was three of us. Uh, coming back, however, uh, was a different story. The person in front of me, uh, she slipped, and just like the tour you see in, in, you know, in, like in the Tour de France, when someone slips, it's like a chain reaction. Everyone slips. They don't have to be near them, but they're gonna slip. That's what happened to me. I <laughs> saw her fall down, and somehow I fell down and landed on my left side. And when I caught up, I, I, I knew I, was not, uh, I wasn't feeling good. My head was pounding. Um, chances are I had a concussion. I'm not too sure. I didn't go to the doctor. But my, head, uh, my helmet cracked pretty good on that ride. And that was that. So fast forward to Saturday. There was a race, uh, which is the Cannibal Race. I tried that again. I should have known San Marvelous, which is a race in San Marcos. But due to certain circum due to some circumstances, I wasn't able to go. So I did that instead, and it was fun. Got second place. Um, uh, you'll see here in a second some video uh, of the race. It was, it, was, it 
I enjoyed myself. Uh, my friend Alec, he enjoyed himself. It was all good. Uh, awesome. Always an awesome event. Now, the next day, um, which was yesterday or Sunday, the 19th, uh, we went on this bicycle ride. Um, we were hitting up. We were starting to hit it hard. Uh, we were at least going 25. Um, and there was this, this section of, of gravel, I'd say at least 30 feet, maybe more, no, way more. I'd say about 30 yards. <laughs> no, 30 feet, 30 yards. It was, it was a good amount of gravel on the road and they hit it hard. Uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, a young kid, I'd say at least 12, a little freaking fast 12 year old, uh, he went down. And I was kind of behind him. I had some space. I was able to slow down enough to avoid him. But someone behind me, uh, I, I, I don't know what happened. Um, he was really close to me, I guess. And when I avoided the 12 year old, um, my back wheel like went left. And so what happened was since my back wheel went left, it, it hit the, the other guy's front wheel, thus uh, flipping him over and since I guess he was going pretty fast it flipped me over and I landed on my right side and as you can see uh, it didn't do too much damage but what it hurt the most was I guess my elbow uh, it got inflamed super fast and it, it, it hurt <laughs> uh, some scratches here and there but it completely snapped my helmet I used the one from Monday um, Thinking it was okay, it was cracked, but it wasn't too bad. But it, because of that crash, it just completely shattered it. So that was the end of that helmet. Um, and that happened around mile 40, and it was an 80 mile ride. So for like half the ride, I was like, ugh. But you know, that's, that's, that's what happens when you ride, you know? Accidents happen, you can't avoid them. Um, you can try your best, but you know, one of these days, you're gonna get hit and you're gonna fall. It's part of the cycling life. But as of right now, it's it's right here. This is what I'm using my, my tape, my key, KT tape for. And let me tell you right now, this helps a lot. I'm able to move it around. It looked broken, but it really wasn't. It just really, really banged up. I have full mobility. Again, I didn't go to the doctor, probably should have. But as long as I'm fine, I can move it. it kind of bothers me just a little bit but I should be okay. So, now looking forward to the future. Here's what I got planned. You guys ready? First up, the driveway, driveway series in Austin. That's one race I wanna try to tackle a couple of times this year. Uh, I know this coming Thursday, which is, can't even see. I'm gonna assume the 23rd. They have a half off for San Antonio. I'm gonna try to make it, no guarantee. I still need to take my bike to the to the shop because of the crash. Uh, my de uh, derailleur hanger got kind of bent in a little bit, so it's, the shifting's kind of finicky. But other than that, the bike was fine. Um, but that's for Thursday, and also there's a race coming up that uh, is called the Tree of Life Crit. Uh, if you go back through my channel, I did like a small personal promotional video for it. Um, it's really cool. It's in New Braunfels. Uh, it's, it's a pretty fun race. Uh, I'll hopefully be racing some of that and then posting it onto YouTube very soon. Uh, other than that, um, whoever comes up, I'm going to try racing them now, at least starting in April. Just to knock them down because it's already March and I have yet to race. I've done a oh, good amount of miles. And uh, I guess now it's time to put up or shut up. But, you know, it is what it is. I, I don't mind racing. I like racing. It's, it's pretty fun. But at the end of the day, sometimes, you know, it's all it is. It's racing. There's no way I'm going to be a pro. There's, there's, there's no way. You know, those guys are amazing athletes. Um, and they put in the work. And I'm not saying I don't, but... You know, I, I love the sport. I do it with a passion. I ride for pa with a passion. And I know most of you who watch this have feel the same way. And, um, you know, I get to ride with 
Oh, so, so, so many people. Some fast, super fast riders to slow riders. It doesn't matter. It's, it's an awesome way to network and get to know other people. Um, but yeah, I, I, again, I'll start trying to do this a little bit more often. Um, I just, it's busy and sometimes these take a while to make. But, so, but, so, uh, uh, horrible transition. <laughs> Just keep, uh, yeah. <laughs> stay tuned, and hopefully I'll get more of these out, because I know, uh, again, you guys like watching these, and I haven't been doing a good job keeping up, so just keep in touch, stay tuned. I'll see you guys on the road.